Wow. If you are a Los Angeles-based investor and you're thinking about investing in Cleveland, you better watch this show because I have just saved two L.A. investors from a huge scam. Somebody was trying to rake these dudes over the coals, man. So if that's you, if you're out there in L.A. or anywhere in California or honestly anywhere out of state and you're trying to invest in Cleveland and you do so without having me analyze your deal, you could lose a ton of money. And I'm going to show you an example right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you avoid being scammed. And holy crap! My two clients, Andrew and Gary, almost got ripped off. But Andrew and Gary, these are smart dudes. They're from L.A., and they're like, hey, Cleveland's cheap. Yeah, we get that. But we ain't just going to buy it because it's cheap. No, no, no. We're smart. We're going to run it by old boy James Wise, make sure we don't get ripped off. And, folks, I'm about to show you the numbers on this quad. Holy crap did this seller try to pull a fast one. But not today, boys! Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the numbers. Man, this this quad could have been a horrible deal for my clients from L.A. Oh, man. 11230 Park Lawn Drive, Cleveland, 44108. Been on the market for 95 days. Priced at 100 k Okay? Now, seems like a reasonable deal on the surface, right? If you're from L.A., and you're you're looking at this with your out of state eyes. You might think, oh, I can't lose four unit apartment building, a hundred grand. Oh, wh what's to lose? What's the risk, right? What the uh, listing agent said. Great investment opportunity. Some work has been started. Paint and cabinetry have been started. Newer windows. Property being sold as is. If you don't want to, you, uh, ah, oh my God, I'm so excited to save you guys money. I couldn't even read that. It says you don't want to miss out on this great opportunity. Okay. Woo! Now, great opportunity, right? $100,000 property, right? Just got to uh, finish up rehabbing it, right? This thing needs like a full rehab, basically, right? It's all jacked up, right? Got bars on the windows. Uh, you know, just you got to do a full rehab on this. You're probably looking at like maybe like $80,000 of rehab, to be honest with you. Now, here's what you have to understand. This particular neighborhood, it's like, okay, what's the ARV? Dude, I don't know. There is like no ARV, bro. There's really like... Not a high demand uh, for people buying properties in this neighborhood. As a matter of fact, like the true ARV is probably uh, zero, right? You see, this is the area, okay? This is our property, okay? Now, people, it's hard for people from like places like L.A. where the land has so much value to, to get their brains wrapped around the fact that some properties are worth less than zero, right? What you get in neighborhoods like this, neighborhoods that are so blighted, the ARV becomes less than the amount of money you would need to actually fix up the property. This property probably needs like 80K worth of work to get it ready to go. But the problem is it ain't worth 80K. And there's all kinds of properties in here that end up in that same spot. And then what do the people do? They walk away. They're like, well, my house needs 100 grand to fix it up, but it's only worth 20. Why the hell would I do that? I walk away. I no longer pay the taxes. Government takes it back, and then they tear it down, okay? And you know where that happened? It happened right next door. It happened right here. It happened right here. Uh, it happened right here, right here, right here. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 
here, here, here, here, there, there, right there. One, two, three, right here. Another one right here, 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 here. It happened here. It happened here. It happened here, 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 here. And it happened here, here, this whole freaking street right here. Okay. Need I say more? These are all properties that became more dilapidated than they were worth, so the people had to walk away. Now, what I like to do, okay, what I like to do too, when I illustrate markets and show people how they, uh, how much they could pay for properties and what they're worth, I like to pull cops. And this neighborhood is so jacked up, people are so unable to actually sell these properties uh, that I wasn't even able to do comps in my normal way. Normally, I do like properties, quarter mile radius over the last six months. Well, guess what? Couldn't find any four-unit comps in this area doing that. So I went back five years, and I found two comps. One comp is this property where this person paid $131,000. I believe that person made a huge mistake, huge mistake. Guess what the other comp was? The other comp was this particular property, right? The other comp was the exact property that a seller is trying to hawk to you for a hundred grand. And guess what they paid for it? 17 grand. And it's not like it was on the market for a day. In Cleveland, when a property is priced appropriately, it flies in hours. Do you know what quads go for in C grade neighborhoods in Cleveland? About 200 grand. It took two months for this one to sell for 17. In the same condition it's currently in at a hundred. Okay? And guess what? The ARV on this. Would it even be 100 if you fixed it all up? I don't know. Probably not, right? There's just not a market for people buying it in a neighborhood this is so dilapidated, right? So if you paid 100 you're insane. If you paid 17 here you are five years later. The only thing you could think to do is try to hawk it to somebody else who knows less about the market than you did. This deal is a dud for L.A. investors. I can almost guarantee you an L.A. investor would lose money trying to buy this deal. Not to mention who you're going to get to rehab it, right? Because Holton Wise, we won't rehab properties in neighborhoods that are this distressed, this dilapidated. I can't staff my company if I send them down to an area like that because the crime rate is so high. They're getting harassed. Their truck's being broken into. It's just straight up dangerous. And what happens? Well, people that work for my construction company, they quit more often than not. And then I have a higher than average turnover. And guess what? What, folks it's 2022 do you know how hard it is to get solid employees these days there's a national labor shortage right and property management and construction is already a high turnover business so when you do something like this the only people you're going to be able to find that can potentially do the deals for you are going to be like small unproven unknown shops which just compounds your level of risk even more right so in my opinion uh it would be a horrible financial investment for you to try to pick this up, uh, especially anywhere near that price point of 100K. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.